Hey there, it's James with Make Happen Greenhouse, and you know, I've been trying to figure out a way to get sugar water to the bees outside the hive without attracting ants like right up into the hive. So, you know, I've been putting this, you know, this little uh, table, this little TV tray essentially next to the hive and the reason is if you look right here right here look ants so they're gonna crawl up and get on the TV tray and hopefully not get up in the hive and uh, you know bug my my bees so uh, so I think I've come up with a new solution we're gonna test it out so I went and found these tiki torches on clearance and uh, took out the tiki torch uh, it's kept in by this metal ring so you can see I, I cut it there and there and then I just loosened up the top of the, the Tiki torch and I'm gonna take a mason jar and put it in the top of that. So let's see how it goes Okay, so I Managed to put the Tiki torch in one thing. I'm thinking is it's a little too high So maybe tomorrow I'm gonna come out and lower this but uh, just for test purposes here Let's see how this works. I have a, a mason jar here. We got, you know, 50% sugar, 50% water. So let's uh, go ahead and just put this in. And just, you see that there's this, here, let me just show you. There's this cork deal down there. I'm gonna leave that cork, you know, I'm sure the wind will blow it around and stuff, but just try to get it so it's upright in there there we go and that way if any sugar drips down the bees can go down and stand on the cork and get it you know what I notice with the feeders is the bees just kind of go upside down and get what they need however they need it so so here we go so you know obviously you get a little a little pours out in the beginning and it slows up so let's go ahead and fix this on here so I'm gonna put the camera down just for a second Okay, I'm back. So this actually, I don't know what you think, but uh, it appears to be working. Let's see, is it level? It's not quite level, we can level it a little. Oh, it's dripping out, see the bubbles? There we go. So we'll just step back here. And again, I think what's gonna happen is the bees are gonna kind of come out and they're gonna you know find the sweet water they can fly up under here and they gotta get what they need if the ants want to come up here they can do what they need to do and voila so I got two of these just to test out we'll see how it works out I just want to get rid of this table it's just becoming a mess and kind of an eyesore so we will uh, get rid of that and um, we'll get the other tiki torch in here and you know we'll have this feeder the other one I think what I'm gonna do is just cut it down so it's much much shorter I want to kind of get it down to that height right there where the bees go in and out tomorrow's a big day we're gonna open up the hive so um, it'll be a fun day we'll try out a bunch of stuff so signing out for now we'll let the bees sleep and I'm gonna do that pretty soon myself Hey, just a quick update on the Tiki Torch feeders that I put together. Um, this picture is from a couple days later, and the good news is the bees have taken to these feeders pretty well. Um, it took a couple days for them to kind of get used to this, and uh, I had to make a couple more modifications. You can see in the picture here. Essentially, I, I cut a little hole and took a piece of cedar, uh, basically a little cedar shake, and made a little ramp that I, I put in there so that they could kind of come in and out as they pleased. And um, that seemed to make it much easier for the bees to kind of find the sugar water and then want to hang out. Uh, they certainly like the lower one, the one that's kind of in the middle of the picture better than the higher one. Um, and they still love their regular feeder, but um, you'll see I made a new stand for that. And this is the current setup that I have. Um, so there you have it, that's the update. Hope uh, you have fun experimenting with different things. Um, thanks a bunch.